Boys and girls, welcome to another edition of MR2 Spider for Dummies. This means you. Just kidding. Today we're going to be looking at uh, the removal of the rear control arm. This is the uh, arm for controlling tow. It allows you to set the tow on uh, the rear wheels of your vehicle. There's one on each side. Okay, so why would you want to remove this? It could be damaged in a collision or it's a uh, bushing could be worn out or it's a ball joint could be worn out. First we have to lift up the car in order to do this so let's get started. Start by chalking the front wheel. You should be familiar with the correct way to jack up your car. We lift the rear of the car from underneath the motor mount or transmission mount underneath the cross member. Right there, you can see where we've lifted it. Next, we support both sides of the car with jack stands underneath the jack points. Next, we remove the wheel. Now we can zero in on the control arm. One end is mounted to the knuckle, the other end is mounted to the cross member. To remove the outside end, I need a 19 millimeter socket. I put it on a short extension. I have my impact tool reach around. For the next step, I can use either this tool, which is a Pitman arm puller, or this tool, which is a ball joint removal tool. Now, the only disadvantage of the Pitman arm puller in this situation is that I would have to remove the lower control arm in order to have access. But with this ball joint remover, I don't have to do that. The ball joint remover mounts from underneath. It fits right in between the ball joint and the knuckle. And its tongue presses right against the uh, tie rod end. Then, it's just a matter of turning this bolt to tighten down, get it into place, and uh, this uh, control arm is already pretty loose, so you can just turn it with hand um, pressure. But normally, you would need to use either a socket wrench or a power tool to turn this and uh, after you've broken it loose it just pulls right out. For the inboard end it has a special cam that allows you to adjust the extension of the arm to adjust the toe on the rear wheel so the first thing we do is to match mark it so we can put it back to where it was if needed. Next, we take a 17 millimeter socket. We just unzip it, push the bolt through, then the arm comes right out wrap up I want to show you the features of this control arm as I said it has a cam it has cams on both ends if you remove this nut you see that the tie rod end is grooved so the cam can only go on one way and then the rotation of the cam 
Okay, the rotation of the cam adjusts the position of this uh, bushing back and forth so it goes in and out as you rotate the cam and this adjusts the toe on the rear wheel. Hope this helps you. Thanks for watching.